Sunday blessings, Sunday blessings, Sunday blessings. You know what I'm going to say. If you are listening to this program, then you have already been blessed today. So go ahead and give God a thank you for the breath of life today. Okay, everyone. First of all, I want to invite you to join the Topaz Blessings family so that you don't miss any of this wonderful and inspiring word that we get every Sunday and sometimes in between on this channel. Okay, go ahead and get out your Bible. If you don't have a paper Bible, I encourage you to get a paper Bible so that you can make some notes in your Bible and read um, your text again later too. And if you don't have a Bible yet, then go ahead and get out your device. This is going to be wonderful today. Okay, our scripture reference is Psalm chapter 90, verse 1. Psalm chapter 90, verse 1. Lord, you have been our dwelling place. The title of the sermon note is Say God is My Dwelling Place. Say God is My Dwelling Place. Even though the Israelites were God's people, they wandered in the wilderness in a desolate way. They found no city to dwell in. Hungry and thirsty, their soul fainted in them. If you feel that way today, perhaps your soul needs a dwelling place, a home where your soul is at peace, secure, and nurtured, a place where you can lay down your worries, weariness, and your frustrations. David said, my soul yearns, even faints, for the courts of the Lord. My heart and flesh cry out for the living God. Good news. Good news, Jesus wants to be your home. He said, live in me, make your home in me. You can treat him as an emergency shelter you run into in times of trouble, or you can live in him. Now you say, how do I make Jesus my dwelling place? Think about it. If someone gave you the gift of a beautiful home, how would you enter into that beautiful home? You would check to make sure that the giver was serious, inspect the paperwork, then you would pack up, move in, and enjoy it, right? Well, Jesus is serious when he invites you to live in him. So by the act of faith, pack up and move in today. God said, my people will live in peaceful places in safe homes and calm places of rest. And that's in Isaiah chapter 32, verse 18. The English poet Hartley Coleridge penned these insightful words about faith. It's an affirmation and an act that bids eternal truth be present fact. The spoken word of God is powerful. So when you get up every morning, Make this your affirmation. Today, God is my dwelling place. I don't know about y'all, but I don't want to run into God's shelter just when I'm in trouble. I want to live in him. I want to live in Jesus. I want that safe home, that calm and peaceful uh, place of rest every day. So just like it says about, you know, somebody gave you a home, you know, you would check out the paperwork, make sure the person was serious and you would pack up and go move in that new house. Well, that's what Jesus is telling us. You can, you can come on in there and you can stay in there and then you can affirm every day and say, God is my dwelling place. And that way you will have peace all the time, not just on some days, just not just some moments, you will be in perfect peace. At all times, no matter what's going on. All right, I hope you have been blessed by this today. God is my dwelling place. Go ahead and say it right now. I feel some powerful blessings already in effect, y'all. Go ahead and like I say, if you've already got a testimony, put it down in the comments. But get ready for another wonderful and blessed and peaceful week. And I love you. And don't forget to subscribe so you can get all of the sermon notes with the Topaz Blessings family. Be blessed and I love you.